Welcome back to Jakarta, a Broken Hearts quest. This is Jewel Smith, middle-aged gamer mom, writer, and crafter. You can find out more about me at patreon.com slash jewelsmith, or find me on YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. I finished the main game of Jakarta, the Broken Hearts quest, collector's edition, and we unlocked a prequel comic book as well as a bonus level. Rising of the Phoenix, I think that was called. Let's look at the prequel comic. This is probably going to tell us the story of what happened thousands of years in the past. These are all characters we encountered in the main game. And this is supposed to be... Noggin is supposed to be Mary in a past life. Yeah, reincarnated as Mary in the afterlife. Okay. Noggin, an untold love story. How could Anantha discard my love for him? How cruel of him to say that I could never be his in this life. Since our childhood days, I was told I was meant for him as his promised bride by both our parents. I waited for him all these years. For what? My heart is broken now and shattered to a million pieces. I won't let him live with that eagle princess for a moment. Anantha will always be mine. Knock in. It has been said, time heals all wounds, but not all. The Snake King's Palace. After her husband's untimely death, Queen Varuni lives only for their son, Anantha. She tries to shield her son from the painful truth. Mama, when will my papa come back? Anantha, your father has gone to a world far away. No one can return from that place. Why did papa leave us here all alone in this palace? Even though she is strong, she can't answer her son's direct question. She sinks to the floor and tears start to flow. As her teardrops fall to the ground, they become white pearls, a reflection of the purity of her inner soul. No, Mama, while I am alive, no tears. Varuni's mind is swamped with bittersweet memories. Anantha, your papa was a legend, loved and respected by all. In all three worlds, there was never such a brave king. Well, there's three worlds? That's interesting. I left my eagle clan to live with him, but... We lived together only for a few days, Anantha. There is evil in this world. Well, I guess you lived together long enough to get pregnant, huh? <laughs> evil. But before he left me for that far world, he gave me a priceless gift. You. Anantha, you are the one to keep his legacy, to restore the pride and prosperity of our snake clan. You are the one chosen one. The Indus School of Magic, the children of both Snake and Eagle clans study here under the guidance of Grandmaster Sh Shukra. Today Anantha begins his journey to wisdom. Princess Noggin is the promised future bride of Anantha and accompanies him to the school. So this is kind of like Hogwarts, I guess. <laughs> And instead of being Slytherin, she's the Snake Clan. And instead of being Gryffindor, he's the Eagle Clan or something. The rich Eagle Clan children show contempt toward the Snake Clan children. Oh, that's not nice. Shh, there goes that bigger prince. His mom left our clan to marry the Snake King and now he's gone. Which clan do you belong to, Anantha? Ha ha ha. Anantha is perplexed, but the bold Noggin springs to his defense. He belongs to the Snake Clan. Who are you fools to question Anantha? Go away, both of you. Anantha, die like your father. Oh, is Papa dead? Mama never told me. Whoever killed my Papa will never escape from me. He's gonna beat up these bullies. Anantha, please stop. You will get into trouble. Let's go. Anantha is furious. Back home, Noggin tells Varuni what happened. He's more short-tempered than his papa. 
I'm impressed by you, Nagin. Please ensure that he doesn't get into any more fights. One day I will bring you to this palace as Anantha's bride. Rooney's promise reassures Nagin and she starts dreaming. Uh, she's got a little empty thought bubble here. Does that mean she's an airhead? <laughs> no, I know. I, know, I, know. I, I kid. I kid. But hey, look, lady, it's not this little girl's uh, responsibility to keep your son from fighting. You gotta school your boy. The Guru Chakra of both the Snake and Eagle Clans teaches them beneath a spreading banyan tree. Today we will discuss death. Oh, that's a deep subject for a bunch of little kids. <laughs> Dang. Death is not the end. It is a new beginning. Guruji, how can we bring back someone from the dead? Anantha wishes to see his papa back again. Anantha, I know why you asked, but our world has some rules which can never be changed. Those who change the rules of this world will, for, will, for, will suffer forever. The guru's face turned serious. Oh, it wasn't serious before? Amiha, the eagle princess, suggests a solution. Guruji, won't the black spells protected in the vaults of the Temple of Death give us immortality? No. Ami, it's forbidden. You are my brightest student. That way lies grave danger. Is she like the Hermione of the group? Guruji, the eagle kids are making fun of us. Noggin voices her complaint to Guruji. I know the clan should never fight. You children must learn to coexist. I apologize to you for all my clan's behavior. Anantha stares at the Eagle Princess with respect. The Eagle Princess is slowly touching his heart with her elegance. Seeking adventure, the children explore and find the Forbidden Chamber. Ah, see, it is like Harry Potter. Is it the Chamber of Secrets? They hear horrifying cries and roars from deep within. Let's go back, it's dangerous. Guruji warned us that we must never go in there. Yes, we better get out of here. Those who are afraid can go back. Grrr. They hear a terrifying roar. Amiha holds Anantha's hand in fear. Please, Anantha, I'm afraid. I want to go home. Okay, let's go back. Amiha looks at Anantha with respect. His bravery has touched her heart. The Eagle Kids plan to take revenge on Anantha. We must teach him a lesson, one that he will never forget. They plan a conspiracy against Anantha. They attack him from with spears from behind. Amiha blocks their path and gets wounded instead. Oh no! Oops, that's our princess. They attack Anantha, but a magical aura from his tear bracelet protects him. Oh, are these the pearls that his mother cried? That her tears turned into pearls and she made them into a bracelet? The gang runs away. Ouch, let's get out of here. Anantha, are you okay? I apologize for my clan. Amiha is wounded. Amiha, you protected me. I am indebted to you. The Eagle Princess's bravery has touched his heart. No evil can harm me while I wear this bracelet made from my mother's tears. Anantha discloses his secret to Ami. You are blessed to have such wonderful to have such a wonderful mom. I lost my mom a long time ago. Amiha, don't cry. One day I will take you to meet my mom. I will wait for that day. From that day onward, they decided to walk together. Oh, that's sweet. Eagle Clan Palace. Dun dun dun. Lasia, commander of the Eagle Army, arrives. Okay, now this lady was in the main game, and I wasn't sure who she was. She just kept showing up and trying to thwart me. But okay, she's the commander of the Eagle Army. What news, Lasha? My lord, Amiha is not very close to that snake prince. That can't be true. Amiha knows not to mingle with the snake clan. My lord, I just told you what I witnessed. It's my duty. Lasya, don't waste your time spying on those children. Tonight you have an important mission. Those tribal villagers don't worship me. Aw, oh, man, this dude's full of himself. Teach them a lesson, one that they will never forget. As you will, my lord. All hail the Eagle Clan. Grrr. 
Lazia commands her army to be silent. Mass eagle warriors under Lazia's command head toward the tribal villages. Attack! Doom! <laughs> da da da! The eagle army, disguised as snake clan warriors, burn the tribal villages. Those snake warriors have done this cruel thing. Why? Lazia and her warriors return to the palace. Death to our enemies. All hail the eagle clan. Ha ha ha. A few weeks later, Huggins' parents discuss an arranged marriage with Anantha's mother while the two children play dice games. Our wish is that our children will marry and Anantha will be our future son-in-law, the ruler of the snake kingdom. Mom, what's son-in-law? One day I will explain. Now go and play outside. Now again, let's play hide and seek in the garden. Oh, okay, let's play. Back to school. Guru Chakra teaching his students archery. Focus. Now tell me, what are you aiming at? The belly, the eye, the trunk of that tree, the tail. This is getting tough. I'm going to use a magic spell. Guru can read what his students are thinking. Noggin, don't use magic. Learn to shoot without magic. Now shoot. All of them shoot, but only Anantha's arrow hits the wooden bird's eye. Anantha, one day you will become a legend like your father. Children, learn to focus like Anantha. Noggin is disappointed, but looks at Anantha with deep respect and love. Amiha too watches with love. A decade has passed and Noggin still hasn't expressed her feelings to Anantha, but a few others know about her feelings and make fun of her. Noggin, you waited for Anantha all your life and now our princess just took him away. Ha ha ha. No. Noggin decides to tell Anantha how she feels about him. Anantha, from childhood I was told I was yours. I love you. Please don't discard my love. She begs before her prince. No, Noggin, I never knew you loved me. I have already given my heart to Amiha. I can never be yours in this life. No! Noggin's heart is shattered. She can't believe that Anantha, her promised husband, has discarded her so cruelly. All my life I waited for you, Anantha. Rejected love and deep pain have awakened a burning evil within Noggin's soul. And you discarded my love for that, that eagle princess. She magically transforms into Amiha. You will be sorry. She never knew the disaster awaiting her, since those who change the rules of this world will suffer forever. Alright, that looks like that's the end. I can't turn any more pages. But now we know the whole story. Wow, that is pretty cool. I mean, they made a full-on comic book for this. That is really cool. I'm wondering if this was released as some kind of promotional thing, or... If they just... I don't know, if they, if they created it for themselves to reference? When they were making the game, or... If it was made later to be you know as a just an add-on for the game or what I don't know but that's cool all right well now we know the untold love story but Nagin apparently died and then was reborn later as Mary and had completely forgotten everything And then through the course of the main game, she learned about all the things she had done in her past life. And in order to release everyone from the curses and save her daughter and everything, uh, spoiler alert, <laughs> if you haven't watched the end of the game, or if you, uh, if you want to play the game for yourself and you don't want to know what happens, plug your ears for a second. But uh, she threw herself from a cliff into the abyss. Uh, so I guess that's how she's supposed to make everything right again. 
Oh, she had to make a sacrifice. That's what it was. It was like she had to sacrifice herself to protect her daughter and break the curse and everything. So... That's what happened at the end of the main game. However... Then we unlocked this Rising of the Phoenix. It says, to see what happened further, play the bonus chapter. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to play this Rising of the Phoenix bonus chapter and find out what happens next.